Hi, my name is Lola. Um, as Frankie requested, I make this video to show you um, to play Can't Help Falling in Love or Fool's Rush In in C major uh, for totally beginners. And uh, in this video, I will walk you through the song part by part. But first, I want you to practice your right hand pattern. So this pattern is very helpful because you can use this pattern to play so many songs. So just try out for yourself and see which song this pattern fits, okay? So this is how you play this pattern. I want you to just ignore your, right, your left hand right now and just focus on your right hand. Notice that your thumb will be placed at the top two string. Sometimes you're gonna play the sixth string, sometimes you play the fifth string. The other three fingers will be placed at the three bottom string or the first string, second string, third string your index finger on the third string, your middle finger on the second string, the ring finger on the first string or the bottom string, okay? And just play your, plug your thumb first, then your index finger, then your middle finger, then plug your ring finger, and then go back to the middle finger, then index finger. That is one pattern. After you finish that pattern, repeat it again. So it's like index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb. Notice that your thumb sometimes pluck the top, the top string or the sixth string. Sometimes it plug in the fifth string alternatively okay so to make it easier for you you can put your pinky you anchor your pinky on some place of the guitar body Okay, now you can pause the video and practice. When you feel comfortable used to this pattern, then you come back to this video and I will show you how to play your left hand. Okay, now that you have mastered your right hand pattern, let's practice your left hand, okay? The first chord at the word wise is C major. Okay, how to play this chord? First of all, your ring finger, put it on the fifth string, third fret. Next, your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret and then your index finger will be on 
the second string, second string, first fret. Okay, the order of which finger to place in first is very important. It will help you to to change the chord on beat. Okay. Okay, and just play the pattern with this chord. Wise. Notice that my thumb plug in the fifth string, not the sixth string. All right. And then now, when you sing men, you will have to play E minor. For your left hand, put the middle finger on the fifth string and the second fret. Your ring finger will be on the fourth string and second fret too. Okay? And your thumb will plug on the sixth string, not the fifth string. Okay. So notice that each word goes with one right hand pattern. So when you sing wise, then me. See? Wise me say. For the word say, you will play A minor. And your thumb will plug in the fifth string. Okay? For your left hand, first place your middle finger on the fourth string, your ring finger on the third string, second fret, and lastly, your index finger on the fifth string, first fret. Okay, again, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, ring finger, third string, second fret, index finger, second string, first fret. And plug your thumb on the fifth string. Okay. Again, wise men say. Remember, for the word say, you will play two pattern of your right hand. Okay. Wise men say to only fools rush So why you play the second pattern of your right hand on the A minor chord? You will sing only fools. When you finish two time of the right hand pattern, you will change to the F chord. This chord is a little bit tricky because you have to bar the whole six string. Not uh, an easier way to play the F chord without bar have to bar all the string is you can bar only the two bottom string. The first string and the second string bar at the first fret. Okay? 
and then put your ring finger on the fourth string on the third fret okay then put your middle finger on the third string second fret you have to plug your thumb here on the fourth string not these two strings okay plug it here okay and then go back to the C major chord Okay. Only fools rush So only fools when you sing fools that's when you play F chord. For one right hand pattern, then change to the C chord when you sing rush. Only fools Only one right hand pattern for the C chord now, and then change to the G major chord. For the G chord, your ring finger will be on the sixth string and third fret. Your middle finger will be on the fifth string and second fret. Your pinky will be on the first string third fret this is kind of tricky because for beginners it's hard for you to separate these two fingers to play this chord but you have to try okay two right hand patterns for this chord Fools rushing. One more pattern. Okay. From the top. Was one pattern. Man, one pattern. Say one more pattern. Only fools rush one pattern. In two patterns, one more. Okay. Now you've got the first line. You can pause the video, practice the first line. After you master it, go back and I will show you how to play the second line. All right, let's go to the second line. Notice that for this second line, for each chord, you will play only one right hand pattern. Okay, first. But I, when you sing I, is also when you play, you start to play the F chord. And you know how to play it already, okay? F chord, F major. Or, this is the easier way to play the F chord. Bar only two bottom string and plug your thumb on the fourth string. But I, when you sing can't, is also when you change to the G major chord. And you've already know how to play it. Ring finger on the sixth string, 
the fret. Middle finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret. And lastly, your pinky on the 1st string, 3rd fret. One right hand pattern. Okay? But I when you when you sing help, it's, all, it's also when you change to the A minor chord. Pluck your thumb on the fifth string, middle finger, fourth string, second fret, ring finger, third string, second fret. Index finger, second string, first fret. Help. One right hand pattern, then go back to the F major. Falling, when you sing falling, is when you change to the F chord. Falling, one right hand pattern. Love, when, when you sing love, is when you play the C major chord for one right hand pattern. Falling in love, one right hand pattern. Then with, when you sing with, is when you play the G major chord. right hand pattern okay let's do it again the second line but I one right hand pattern when you sing can't is G major can't help A minor one right hand pattern then falling one right hand pattern, love, one right hand pattern, then G major, with, one right hand pattern, then C major, you, two right hand pattern. And that's the end of the second line. Pause the video and practice the second line. After you practice the second line, you can connect the first line and the second line. After that, go back to the video. We will go to the third line. Third line is uh, exactly the same as the first line. Okay. Only the lyrics change. Shell. One right hand pattern and change to E minor. Stay. One more pattern. Would it be one right hand pattern? Then change to C major. Ascent. Two pattern. One more. Easy, right? Okay, you can pause now and practice the third line, then we'll go to the fourth line. Notice that this fourth line is exactly the same as the second line. If I... One pattern, then you change to G major. K... Help... Falling in love with you. At the end of the fourth line, the last word is you, right? For this, instead of play two pattern for the C major, 
just like the second line for the fourth line you will play only one pattern for the C chord then you will move you will remove your ring finger and move your middle finger which is right now on the fourth string second fret you move it up to one string move to the fifth string second fret okay and play one right hand pattern so this chord is a E minor chord with a bass of B of the note B okay so this you play this as a transition to play the chorus falling in love with with you only one pattern and then change to this your middle finger on the fifth string second fret your ring f your index finger on the second string first fret so the trick here is that when you play C major right then you keep your index finger this at the same place anchor it there because you don't have to change the position of this finger right when you play C when you change when you're about to change the chord just keep your index finger at the same place anchor it there and then remove your ring finger get rid of it <laughs> and then move your middle finger up one string on the second fret then pluck your right hand your your thumb on the fifth string and play one more pattern and that is the end of the verse okay again falling in love with you okay congratulations you've already finished the verse i will make another video to show you how to play the chorus all right i'll see you again in part two good luck <laughs>